In this video, I'm going to talk about why gas prices have skyrocketed and what it's got to do with the Russian invasion of Ukraine. It is a hot, beautiful, gorgeous day here in Central Texas, and I've just gotten some gas. And it was expensive. Why are the gas prices so high? Well, I used to be a natural gas auditor on the regulatory side, so I know just a little bit about fossil fuel production. Plain. <laughs> and I saw a tweet today from AOC. I'm gonna close the door because I keep getting plans and stuff. She's quote tweeting somebody saying, oil is now less than a hundred dollars a barrel. What is going on at the pump? And her quote tweet says, profiteering, and there should be consequences for it. And I don't disagree that profiteering is a major, major motivation behind everything that oil and gas companies do, but I don't think it's the most immediate cause of higher gas prices. I'm going to have to back up quite a bit to explain why it is that oil prices are so low, but gas, by which we mean petroleum, not natural gas, is so high at the pump. You see, one of the most misleading things in this conversation is we talk about oil. We talk about it as if it's one chemical and one commodity, and that's not actually true. Oil is an umbrella term for hundreds, maybe even thousands of chemicals, and they don't all act the same way. For instance, here in America, we mine light, sweet, crude. That is, the carbon chains on the molecules are very short comparatively, and there's not a lot of sulfur in it. The American refineries, which turn oil into petroleum, can't handle light, sweet, crude. The reason for that is refineries are expensive and they last forever. And when American refineries were made, we were importing all of our oil from overseas. It would take literally hundreds of billions of dollars to change American infrastructure so that we can refine the oil we pull out of the ground here. So the problem is not, as Governor Greg Abbott says, that we need to produce more oil. In fact, we're net exporters of oil. We ship more oil than we consume at this point. The problem is more of a supply chain issue. Even though Russia only produced like 3% of the oil we consumed, we have to kind of play musical chairs now to find people who will take our oil and then find other countries who will give us oil. The thing I want you to wrap your head around is we are not the consumers of oil. Refineries are the consumers of oil. We're the consumers of petroleum, of gas. So because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, they have fewer refineries that they can sell to. And so do we, we can't sell oil to Russia right now. That means demand for oil has actually gone down. However, that same problem, fewer refineries able to find oil that they can process leads to higher petroleum prices. So this apparent paradox of low oil prices and high gas prices isn't caused by profiteering, at least not at the moment. It's caused by the same supply chain issue. I'm not making this video to like call out AOC, no. I think her push for green energy is essential. What I'm worried about is by talking about this only in terms of profiteering, she is missing the deeper critique, which is that this system that we have is ridiculous. We're pulling oil out of the ground and shipping it halfway across the world because we can't even use it here. And when something like a war with Ukraine, one we're not actually directly involved with, can destabilize the entire energy market that the whole world uses, that is not sustainable. The reason why gas prices have gone up so dramatically is because our energy infrastructure is really fragile and green energy would only make it stronger. So go ahead and give this video a like if you found it helpful and if you enjoyed it, I've got another video on the US healthcare system which you might find equally illuminating.